President Rodrigo Duterte signs the Paris Agreement on Climate Change despite earlier misgivings. Executive Secretary Salvador Medjaldea confirms Duterte on Tuesday signed the Instrument on Accession, a document signifying the Philippines' ratification of the historic Climate Change Agreement. The signed document will be sent to the office of Senator Lauren Legarda Wednesday afternoon. Legarda says she will sponsor it for concurrence, the final step in the ratification process. The Paris Agreement on Climate Change is the first ever legally binding global agreement on climate change signed by almost all countries. It was signed by a total of 194 parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in December 2015 in the French capital. Duterte expressed qualms about ratifying the deal, saying any commitment to cut down on carbon emissions unfairly restrains developing countries. Peter Lavinia, President Rodrigo Duterte's campaign spokesman, is sacked as head of the National Irrigation Administration. Rappler sources say Duterte mentioned his decision to fire Lavinia in a meeting with labor groups Monday. Two sources from labor groups say Duterte said he fired Lavinia for allegedly receiving 40% or kickback in government contracts. Duterte supposedly emphasized how he doesn't tolerate corruption even among those close to him. But Cabinet Secretary Leon Vasco Jr. says Lavinia resigned and wasn't sacked. Lavinia confirms this in a Facebook post Wednesday. He denies corruption allegations and says he decided to resign to spare Duterte from the embarrassing stories. United States President Donald Trump, in his maiden speech to Congress Tuesday, hails the emergence of a new national pride while pushing for tough immigration enforcement as a key to delivering jobs and security at home. Trump reiterates his vow to put America first, but has yet to translate his populist vision into legislative reality. Trump says, quote, A new national pride is sweeping across our nation, and a new surge of optimism is placing impossible dreams firmly within our grasp. He also dares lawmakers to rally behind his plans to dramatically slash government spending, industrial regulation, and tax. Trump also vows to introduce a new merit-based immigration system to regulate new arrivals in the United States and reduce the flow of unskilled workers. Mm-hmm.